Hello everyone, it's me, back with another YouTube video, and today, I think this might be one of the um, few videos, I might just start doing uh, like two or three uploads a week, because, you know, I'm kind of running on storage. If you guys can let me down, or let me know down below that if you get like, I want to know if you get like one of those inputs, I think it's like you, 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 uh, USP plug, I don't know what it's called. It's like a little port and you can like, uh, record files on that. Um, I f don't know what it's called, but if you guys can comment down below and say that it could help with storage problems, because I got rid of a lot of stuff on here, and it's still, like, bad with storage. So if you guys can comment down below and help me out with, like, finding things that could take away more storage and help. But as a Thanksgiving special, even though I'm uploading this on Wednesday, November 22nd, um, I probably will do a video for Thanksgiving, because, um, why not? So... Um, of course, I love Zodiac signs, and I definitely love Harry Potter Hogwarts houses. I mean, who doesn't love the two combinations? And today, we're actually going to be sorting the houses, or, um, sorting the signs into the houses. Because, I mean, why not? So, if you guys also want to, um, comment down below what's your Zodiac sign, and I also will be using... My trusty phone, which you guys will not see, but I actually will be finding out. I will be reading information off and kind of just starting from there to see where it belongs. So since the first one up on the page says Libra, let's look at Libra. So, element is air, quality is cardinal. I also use the www.astrology-signs or dash zodiacs-signs.com or whatever. It's a great website if you guys ever are into um, like, zodiac signs or just astrology and stuff like that. Um, I'm not going to read off all the information. I'm just going to read off the stuff that's going to pretty much put them into the actual houses. And it tells you compatibility stuff. So if you guys have, like, a crush or something, you see their birthday and you're just like, oh, am I compatible with them? Well, it gives you it all right on this app. Or not even an app. It's just a website. It's just a site. So, element is air. Quality, cardinal, color, pink, green. And if these are, like, true facts, you should tell me down below if this, like, totally reminds me, or, like, reminds you of yourself. Fri er, day is Friday. Ruler is Venus. Great overall compatibility. Aries, Sagittarius. Lucky numbers. 4, 6, 13, 15, 24. And the date range is September 23rd through October 22nd. Libra Traits. It is actually represented by a balancer, or a, like kind of like a scale. So, strengths. Cooperative, diplomatic, gracious, fair-minded, social. Weaknesses. Indecisive, avoids confrontations, will carry a grudge, self-pity. Libra likes. Harmony, gentleness, sharing with others, the outdoors. Libra dislikes. Violence, injustice, loudmouths, conformity. Hmm. They say they're very peaceful, and they're balanced. So I would ultimately probably, but they also said they're kind of like holding grudges. So I think either Slytherin or Hufflepuff, but definitely my first choice would definitely be a Hufflepuff. So now the next sign is um, Capricorn. Let's look. I used to be friends with a Capricorn. We got into a fight. I'm friends with a few Capricorns. Not really that many. So, element, earth, quality, cardinal, color, brown, black, day, Saturday, ruler, Saturn, greatest overall, compatibility, Taurus, cancer, lucky numbers, 4, 8, 13, 22, date ranges from December 22nd to January 19th, Capricorn traits, strengths, responsible, disciplined, self-controlled, good manners, weaknesses, know-it-all, unforgiving, condescending, Expecting the worst, Capricorn likes family, tradition, music, under status, or understated status, quality, craftsmanship. Capricorn dislikes almost everything at some point. They like responsibility, represents traditional and often very serious by nature, or um, independent, significant process, personal lives. And they said they kind of like hate everything at one point. I think I would put them in more of a Slytherin type house. Next on, we have Pisces. Um, I already have a few ideas for some of the signs, 
but I'm going to read them off anyway. Very informational. I always have informational videos like once a month. Sorry, I just love information. <laughs> Element. Water. Quality. Mutable. Oh, and by the way, Capricorns are technically kind of like, almost kind of like an antelope ram type of, th type of thing. And then Pisces is represented by two fish. So, element, water, quality, mutable, color, mauve, lilac, purple, violet, sea green, day, Thursday, ruler, Neptune, Jupiter, greatest overall compatibility, Virgo, Taurus, lucky numbers, 3, 9, 12, 15, 18, 24. Date range is from February 19 to March 20. Pisces traits. Strengths. Compassionate, artistic, intuitive, gentle, wise, musical. Weaknesses. Fearful, over -trust, overly trusting, sad, desire to escape reality, can be a victim of a... or a mar martyr. Pisces likes. Being alone, sleeping, music, romance, visual media, swimming, spiritual themes. Pisces dislikes. Know it all. Being criticized, the past coming back to haunt. Cruelty of any kind. So I don't have to read any more to already know that a Pisces will probably most likely be um, in the um, Hufflepuff category. So we have two for Hufflepuff, one for Slytherin. Let's go to Sagittarius. Come on, hurry up. This website's taking forever. My phone's slowly dying. Sagittarius, let's go. Sagittarius is represented by an an uh, centaur, which is the top part is a man or a woman's torso. The bottom half is like kind of like a horse without his head, and it's called centaurs. If you guys want to look it up, or just you could say archer because the centaur technically has a bow and arrow. So anyway, let's go. Element fire, quality mutable, color blue, day Thursday, ruler Jupiter, greatest overall compatibility. Gemini, Aries, lucky numbers, 3, 7, 9, 12, 21. Date ranges from November 22nd to December 21st. Sagittarius traits. Strengths, generous, idealistic, great sense of humor. Weaknesses, promises more than can deliver, very impatient, will say anything no matter how undiplomatic. Meaning they'll literally just tell you off and they really don't care. Sagittarius likes freedom, travel, philosophy, being outdoors. Sagittarius dislikes clingy people, being constrained, off-the-wall theories, and details. I feel like this would either be between Hufflepuff or Gryffindor, but ultimately, I think um, Sagittarius should be in Gryffindor because they're very like open, they're very fun, and they seem like they would get along with a lot of people, and they're pretty brave, and they're very competent, especially if they're just telling people off. So next is Aquarius. Aquarius is represented by a man pouring a pot of water or just the pot of water pouring element air quality fixed color light blue silver day saturday ruler uranus saturn greatest overall compatibility leo sagittarius lucky numbers 4 7 11 22 29 date ranges from january 20th to february 18th aquarius traits I'm friends with a few Aquariuses. I think I'm friends with a lot of Aquariuses and a lot of Sagittariuses. Strengths. Progressive. Original. Independent. Human humanitarian. Meaning, I don't know what humanitarian means. Whatever that means. Weaknesses. Runs from emotional expression. Temperamental. Uncompromising. Um, um, uncompromising. Uncom aloof. Aquarius likes fun with friends, helping others, fighting for causes, intellectual conversation, a good listener. Aquarius dislikes limitations, broken promises, being lonely, dull or boring situations, people who disagree with them. So right off the bat, I think this was either be a Slytherin or a Ravenclaw since it's really independent and Hufflepuffs are really open to people. But overall, I think they're like Ravenclaws because they're more like um intellectual. Me, personally, I am a Slytherin. The link will actually be in the iCard in the corner for the other um, Harry Potter video, which is me sorting myself into a Harry Potter house. 
So, yes, we have one for Ravenclaw, one for Slytherin, two for Hufflepuff, and one for Gryffindor. Next, we have Scorpio, which is represented by a scorpion. It's pretty much right in its name. I'm sorry if this is a really long video. If you guys, I will actually put them um, in order if you guys just want to skip ahead because I am completely okay with skipping ahead if you guys don't want to see all the way. And if you guys agree, if you don't, if you want to sort yourself or what you believe or whatever, just go on the um, Pottermore website and definitely go sort yourself. And if you do technically agree, tell me down below. If you don't, you can tell me that too. So, Scorpio. Element. Water. Quality. Fixed. Color. Scarlet. Red. Rust. Day. Tuesday. Ruler. Pluto. Mars. Raiders overall compatibility. Tauros. Cancer. Lucky numbers. 8, 11, 18, 22. Date ranges from October 23rd to November 21st. Scorpio traits. Strengths. Resourceful, brave, passionate, stubborn, a true friend. Weaknesses. Distrusting, jealous, secretive, violent. Scorpio likes. True, or truth. Facts. Being right. Longtime friends. Teasing. A grand passion. Scorpio dislikes. Dishonesty. Revealing secrets. Passive people. They're very passionate, exertive, they are de decisive. Until they find out the truth emotions. See, it's either between a Slytherin or a Gryffindor because they can be really mean, but they're almost a lot like how the they act in Gryffindor. So, I think it would be a Gryffindor. So, so far we have two for Gryffindor, one for Slytherin, two for... I need to rethink this. Okay, so we have... We've already done half of the science. Six. So we have two for Gryffindor, one for Slytherin, one for Ravenclaw, and two for Hufflepuff. Okay. So now we're on Cancer, which is represented by a crab. I'm pretty sure it is re represented by a crab. Sorry, my phone's taking forever to load. Element, water. Quality, cardinal. Color, white. Day, Monday, Thursday. Ruler, moon. Greatest overall compatibility, Capricorn, Taurus. Lucky numbers, 2, 3, 15, 20. Date range is from June 21st to July 22nd. Cancer traits. Strengths. Tenacious, highly imaginative, imaginative, sorry, I have like a bad speech impediment, um, sh come on, remind me tomorrow, because I don't really feel like doing that, sorry, my computer is just being so annoying these days, um, loyal, emotional, sympathetic, persuasive, weaknesses, moody, Pessimistic, I don't know what that means. Suspicious, mani manipulative, insecure. Cancer likes. Art, home-based hobbies, relaxing. That gave me a heart attack because that was really loud. Um, very loud, annoying noise. Art, home-based hobbies, relaxing near or in water, helping loved ones, a good meal with friends. Um, cancer dislikes. Strangers, any criticism of mom, revealing a of personal life. And they could be challenging, blah, blah, blah. They seem very nice and highly imaginative, loyal. They don't seem brave, but I feel like they would be a Hufflepuff. Because, I mean, the persuasive and the manipulative part kind of reminds me of Slytherin, but mainly they sound kind of like Hufflepuffs. Okay, next is Gemini, which is represented by twins. I am friends with a Gemini. She doesn't see eye to eye with everyone, but, you know. Element. Air. Quality. Mutable. Color. Light green. Yellow. Day. Wednesday. Ruler. Mercury. Greatest overall compatibility. Sagittarius. Aquarius. Lucky numbers. 5, 7, 
14, 23, and date ranges from May 21st to June 20th. Gemini Traits Strengths Gentle, affectionate, curious, adaptable, ability to learn quickly and exchange ideas. Weaknesses Nervous, inconsist inconsistent, indecisive. Gemini Likes Music, books, magazines, chats with near nearly anyone, short trips around the town. Gemini Dislikes Being alone, being confined, repetition, and routine. They're, it says they're expressive, quick-witted, two personalities, social, fascinated with the world itself. Seeking new friends, skills. It sounds like they'd be a Ravenclaw. So, so far, we have... Hmm. We have two for Ravenclaw. We have three for Hufflepuff. Wait, wait, wait. I have... We have eight signs. Okay, we have three for Hufflepuff. Two for Gryffindor. Two for Ravenclaw. And one for Slytherin. Slytherin's not that popular. But I have a feeling Leo's going to be in the Slytherin. Only because Leos are very overconfident. And really rude sometimes. Element is fire, quality, fixed, color, gold, yellow, orange, day, Sunday, ruler, sun, greatest overall compatibility, Aquarius, Gemini, lucky numbers, 1, 3, 10, 19, date range, July 23rd to August 22nd, Leo, stri er, Leo traits, strengths, creative, passionate, generous, warm-hearted, cheerful, humorous, Weaknesses. Arrogant, stubborn, self-centered, lazy, and flexible. Leo likes. Theater, taking holidays, being admired, expensive things, bright colors, fun with friends. Leo dislikes. Being ignored, facing difficult reality, not being treated like a queen or a king or queen. Actually, that sounds very, kind of like, overly bold. So I'd probably say Gryffindor. And Leos are represented by lions. So what better place than a... Gryffindor. So now Aries, which is represented by a ram. Element. Fire. Quality. Cardinal. Color. Red. Day. Tuesday. Ruler. Mars. Greatest overall compatibility. Libra. Leo. Lucky numbers. 1, 8, 17. Date range. March 21st to April 19th. Aries traits. Strengths. Courageous, determined, confident, enthusiastic, optimistic, honest, passionate. Weaknesses. Impatient, moody, short-tempered, impulsive, aggressive. Aries likes. Comfortable clothing, taking on leadership roles, physical challenges, individual sports. Aries dislikes. Inactivity, delays, work that does not use one's talents. This is also pretty much like a Gryffindor. So we have... One, two, three for Gryffindor. I think four actually for Gryffindor. Three for Gryffindor. Two for Ravenclaw. Three for Hufflepuff. And then four for Gryffindor. And then one for Slytherin. There's not a lot of Slytherins on this. Not that I think. Mm. Tauros, represented by a bull. Element, earth, quality, fixed, color, green, pink, day, mon er, Friday, Monday. Ruler, Venus, greatest overall compatibility, Scorpio, Cancer. Lucky numbers, 2, 6, 9, 12, 24. Date range, April 20th to May 20th. Toro Streets. Strengths. Reliable. Patient. Practical. Devoted. Responsible. Stable. 
weaknesses. Stubborn, possessive, uncompromising. Uncom Toros like gardening, cooking, music, romance, highly quality clothes, or high quality clothes, working with hands. Taurus dislikes sudden changes, complications, insecurity of any kind, synthetic fabrics. They kind of remind me of both Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, and maybe a little bit of Ravenclaw, but overall, I think they belong in the Hufflepuff section. So we have four for Hufflepuff, four for Gryffindor, two for Ravenclaw, and one for Slytherin. And last but not least, we have Virgo. Element, earth, quality, mutable, color, gray, beige, pale yellow, day, Wednesday, ruler, mercury, greatest overall compatibility, Pisces, Cancer, lucky numbers, 15, 14, or 5, 14, 15, 23, and 32, date range is August 23rd to September 22nd, and it is represented by a woman, or Virgo the Virgin. So anyway, Virgo traits, strengths. Loyal, analytical, kind, hardworking, practical. Weaknesses. Shyness, worry, overly critical of self and others. All work, no play. Virgo likes. Animals, healthy food, books, nature, cleanliness. Virgo dislikes. Rudeness, asking for help, taking center stage. So, I think that's probably a Ravenclaw. So the overall, it's, um, it's three for Ravenclaw. Four for Hufflepuff, four for Gryffindor, and one for Slytherin. Capricorn is the only one who makes it in Slytherin. I feel like there could be like a little bit like of other ones. Like um, Gemini could definitely fit in Slytherin just as well. And I myself am a Slytherin, and I am not a Capricorn at all. If you guys want to, you guys can definitely comment down below what you guys think my sign is. Bum, bum, bum. So in the i card in the corner, there will definitely be um, the link to the last video I did on Hogwarts houses. And also there will be a quiz, which will have like a million answers in it, because it's just you picking your sign. Because I don't want you guys like commenting down so much stuff. So if you guys could help me out by commenting with the um, storage thing to help my computer. And so I could continue doing more videos. And also... Don't forget to comment down below what you guys think my sign is. Whoever comments down and gets it right will definitely get a shout-out. That's the way to get the shout-out. And you guys can definitely guess or just buy my personality, how I make my videos. It will definitely give you a hint. So anyway, I hope you guys did leave a like on the video if you did enjoy it. And like I said, comment down below to help me out and help you guys out if I respond. Because I love to respond. No, not all the time, but sometimes. And definitely, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Peace out.